have a video on how I cover my imperfections, my pimples and stuff like that. So keep watching. Okay, this is a perfect moment to do this video because I have a ton of pimple scarring from from the weekend. Can you imagine? This I got this during the weekend because I came to Nevada in the dry, nasty weather. Just got me a lot of pimples lately. I've been changing. I'm not that. I'm not a teenager anymore, so I get pimples because of dry and hot weather. Go figure. So, very important, first of all, to say, um, if you pick and squeeze your pimples, sometimes you get you can get even lose a little bit of your skin. So, if that's the case, you're not going to be able to cover that like bare skin or just red skin because you know that liquid from the blood is starting to come out and it's not going to be covered by a concealer. So it's very important that you don't squeeze your pimples. But if you do like I do, I'm going to give you a trick. So first of all, you're going to start with your moisturizer. Very important. Sometimes when you get a pimple and you've been squeezing it or it's just drying out, you might get like flaky areas around the pimple, around it. Okay, so I have my primer and everything on my face. Um, all this area, I got like three this weekend and three right here, one here. It's crazy. <laughs> but I don't worry because I have my best friend, my concealer. I'm using Cover Blend right here. I'm going to use it just in two areas of my face. And I'm going to use some others so you can see. Um, the best way that I've found to apply concealer to pimples and this kind of discoloration is I apply and just put a little bit on each, <laughs> on each one. And I use a stippling brush. This is a very, very good technique that I've found. So it, will, it, will, it won't look too cakey. And it covers really, really naturally. So as you can see, <laughs> it almost disappeared. Okay. But if you don't have this kind of concealer, which I really, really recommend, you can go ahead and get your regular MAC or any other kind of cream concealer. I like this because they're not too creamy. They're kind of on the dry side, but they're not cake either, at least on me. So if you don't have a stippling brush, you can absolutely use a natural bristle brush like this one. I rather for it to be flat. I don't know why. I find it easier easier to use. If you have acne, you might have bacteria on your pimples. So you might want to just scoop a little bit out of the concealer and put it on your hand. Um, this will work better. It's very, very important that you don't conceal pimples that are raised or any kind of pimple with with a lighter concealer because it emphasizes it so bad. If it's red, I'm going to go ahead and recommend either the yellow and if it's really, really red, you can go ahead and get the green. But I it, it works for me to use just my skin tone concealer. So this one doesn't have a skin on top. I, the, the same way I just explained it in the beginning. So maybe it's going to be like uncovered. I, I do stippling uh, motion. Oh no, it has a skin this morning. <laughs> Yesterday it didn't have skin. So, like that. I do this before foundation or after foundation. It's, it's going to be the same. Sometimes I try to conceal too much when I do it before, but it's okay right now. It's going to use it before so you can clearly see my imperfections. And I just stipple, stipple, stipple. And as you can see, <laughs> virtually they're gone. For those brown spots that you might have, I don't know, from old scars or from melasma, sun damage, I recommend that you get a yellow concealer. I'm going to use this thick one. You can use any one that you have. But 
a thick one. Physician's formula has um, a, a wide array of the yellow concealers that I recommend. And in this palette I have a, a yellow one too, but it's kind of too light to my, I don't know, to my taste. So I have those brown spots right here, kind of a group of freckles that are brown. And I do the same thing. If it's too uh, if it's too thick, the formula of the concealer, you can just spray a little bit of Fix Plus or any kind of facial spray on, on the brush, and it's going to go on lighter in consistency. So there you go. And for the redness, we know that green concealer is known for its uh, counteracting action. Um, with red. So I'm just going to use that around my nose, which is my red area, generally. And I do the same thing, trying not to wait until it's all dry. And it really, really neutralizes very well. It's, it's very important to use your skin color concealer for this kind of imperfections. If you want to highlight, go ahead and get a lighter one. But if you want to conceal, please use the one the same as your skin tone. Or even darker will work. You're going to put a foundation on top. So it's very important to mention that texture is not going to be concealed by any concealer. The, the most you can do is use primers. I find, find this very concealing with small acne scarring that might be on the cheeks or it, this is the one that I found more concealing. And as you can see, I already applied my foundation, but it kind of needs a little bit more coverage right here, so I'm going to apply uh, the concealer with a small brush. Just tapping, not rubbing. And then I use again the stippling brush, very lightly. So now I apply my powder in a regular way. And it's very important for you to set with a powder after the foundation, otherwise your imperfections are going to show during the day. So once you have your regular powder, if you have any pimples that have not been covered, the only thing covers up kind of pimples that have skin showing and, you know, and kind of bleeding. It's a very chalky, chalky powder. Just go and get the cheapest one with a lot of talc, so it's the only one that's going to cover because it's going to soak the, the moisture. I'm going to apply it on the pimple, right there, and stipple the area together. Don't apply it all over the face because it's going to look too powdery and ugly and it's going to emphasize your infections even more. Okay guys, so this was it. I'm going to have some pictures at the end. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you. Bye.